Well, hi everyone. I have a can here that I bought on eBay. It's a uh, Vietnam era rations can of some kind. It says B2 unit on it. Uh, if you look closely, you can see there's a stamp on there. Do you see that stamp? Let's see. There it is. 169. See that? That's when January 69 was when that uh, can was was packed with the food inside that the uh, that the military men were uh, were supposed to open and, and eat. And uh, I don't know what's in here. It's not labeled other than B2 unit and 169. Uh, as I understand, it's part of a C rations can of some kind. But uh, I'm a little disturbed because I don't know if you can see this, but when I when I put it on the table, it uh, it sort of wobbles because the side is a little bit um, a little bit bowed out, which tells me that there's some gases have been built built up in there over the years. So that's a little disturbing. Uh, <laughs> well, let's see what are we going to do about that. Well, let's uh, let's open this up and see what's inside. So this is called a P-38. Uh, I'll show it to you up close. It's a, uh, oh wow, that is close. All right, so this is a P-38 can opener. So uh, it's meant to uh, be taken in the field to, uh, I don't know if you can see what's on there. What does it say? Mill J0837. So you pop this thing out like that. And now you can use that to, uh, you know, open your your uh, can when you're out there in the field, so you don't have to carry some uh, hugely ridiculous thing to open your. You, you can't use like a handheld can opener that's like this big. So uh, let's let's uh, put it on the can and let's uh, open it up and let's see what uh, what's in here. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna puncture the top of the can, so I want to hear if there's a hiss. If there's a hiss, that might mean that there's uh, some kind of gases that have built up. So let's put it close to the microphone and uh, and uh, do this thing here. Let me focus it a little bit. All right, so that's pretty good. All right, so let's ready. Oh, you hear that? That's bad news, folks. That means there's something in there, and it's probably not sweet. All right. Ooh, I can already smell it. All right, so I'm just going to go around the edge of this can. And this is how you do it. You just sort of uh, work your way around the edge with this little P38 can opener. Really, actually, kind of a nifty device if you think about it. You're able to open up the can uh, out in the field. And uh, I guess you know nowadays they have those cans that, or actually they're packages. You just tear the tear them open, and they're made of like plastic of some kind that keeps the contents nice and fresh for years and years. Well, this can's like uh, 48 years old, and even though it's sealed, there's obviously something that something that's been going on with it because it's. Uh, it's full of gas, and that's not good. So let's um, let's open this can up and see what's inside, shall we? I'm kind of worried about this. All right, so take the take the top off here, and you are the first to see the reveal. Whoa! All right, look at the shiny, look at the shiny backside to that lid. 48 years old. It still it still looks like really shiny and uh, well kept. Excellent. Oh, oh God, that smells terrible. I don't know what what was in here. We'll find out, but that's that's disgusting. All right, I'm gonna pull the first layer off here. So this is some little piece of paper of some kind. Ugh. Oh, it has like a nasty not so good smell. Let's pour it out here and see what's inside. 
It's obviously something, some food of some kind. There's the bottom of the can. Doesn't look like it's in too bad of shape, but uh, still, I mean, these crackers smell awful. Uh, it smells like it smells like stinky cheese. It, it's something like something's leaked, leaked here, maybe. Oh God, Ugh. that is a really nasty smell. So these crackers. Um, let's see, do they have any snap? Just a tiny little bit of snap. Oh, they smell awful. I don't know if I want to eat one of those. Okay, so here's two more crackers. Let's see if they look like close up. They're, um, I wish you could smell it. It smells like, it smells like the most pungent cheese that's, that's been in the dash, like been in the glove compartment of your car. Like take a stinky Swiss or Limburger cheese and put it in the glove compartment of your car on a hot summer day and leave it there for about three, four days. That's what these crackers smell like. I'm not sure I'm going to take a bite of them. This, oh geez, what is this? All right, so there's another can in here. I'm going to gingerly take this uh, cover off. You're seeing this for the first time and so am I, so it's actually kind of interesting. Oh, interesting. All right, so here's what this is like covered with, with like, I think the, the can punctured. This is cheddar cheese spread type 2. What the hell does type 2 mean? What are the ingredients of this stuff? Oh, it's like, it's all greasy, flavored with caraway. Ingredients, cheddar cheese, plastic, plastic cream. Am I reading that right? Plastic cream? What the hell is plastic cream? They put plastic cream in my cheese. Disodium phosphate, salt, locust bean gum, water, and caraway oil. Artificially colored. Sterilized processed cheese food. Net weight 37 grams. What does this say on the bottom? Ew, this is like cheese that's come out of the package. Where was it manufactured? Foremost Dairies Incorporated, San Francisco, California. Oh, and this is stamped too. What date is that stamped? P1107 or 37 or something like that? I can't see it really well. Anyway, uh, you know what's fun? Let's open this up and see what that smells like. The fact that this cheese, see it's like covering my hands. The fact that this cheese is, uh, is, uh, coming out of the can tells me that it's probably not going to be good inside either but yeah, you just gotta look I mean you can't you can't just throw it away without knowing what's inside that's that's like the best part right let's see what's inside this bad boy so so I'm just gonna open this up Feel free to fast forward if uh, if you're bored by opening up this can. Oh, here comes my daughter. She's going to smell uh, this. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> so there you have an idea, folks, of how nasty this stuff is. This what is, is cheddar cheese spread type 2. Do you want a bite? No, it smells disgusting. Hey, you take a bite, not me. Oh, I'm, look at that. But I'm telling you that mommy wants more coffee. Okay. There's what it looks like, folks. Look at that. Mmm. <coughs> mommy wants more coffee. Okay, I'll get mommy more coffee in a minute. You want a bite of that? Here, take a bite. <laughs> God. This is... Okay, folks. All right, that's it for me. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put this in my mouth. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to. This Are you gonna put gross, it? man. Put you take a look at this stuff. This is cheddar cheese spread that came out of a uh, oh ration. Oh, my God. The smell. Yeah. And look at that. That's oh the my. cheese spread. Look at this gross Come stuff. On, look look at that. <laughs> my daughter's covering her face. Yeah. She doesn't even... Yeah, and the crackers, they don't, they don't yeah. smell much better either. Yeah. Okay. That's it, folks.